video. Sam C, surprise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did tell her, but this is a recap of new stuff from a company that we've covered like three or four times. Mm -hmm. So we got Sam for the long haul here. And this company is known as Broke Donkey, wink, wink, Beard Co. <laughs> Yeah, so they got another word there, and some people are like, why don't you, why don't you say it? That's not that bad. Well, I teach middle school. Would I be able to say that in the classroom? No. You want me to say it? No, no, <laughs> no. So we just go by broke donkey beer. Uh -huh. And they do have a donkey as their their <laughs> symbol there. So we have some new scents to talk about and a limited edition. This is their second year anniversary. Oh. Uh, like a couple days before this video drops. That's cool. So yep, two years doing really well. And first thing with this company is with their name, and we've talked about before some like money saving things that they do. Mm -hmm. Their beard oil is nine dollars. As compared to the market, I know, as compared to the market average, that is $15. And obviously more, some are more than that, some are a little less. Uh, but this is, with high quality, probably the most inexpensive oil you can get. One of the things that they do is they come out with series of oils. So this is five different oils on the label here. Mm -hmm. And they just take a Sharpie and yeah. mark which one it is. So when you buy bulk labels, it's much more cost effective mm -hmm. than having those individual ones. So we got some cool stuff going on there and we have some other things. With that two year anniversary, they have this special oil. It's got a party <laughs> hat. It's got a party hat. <laughs> we were just talking, what book is that? The Dr. Seuss book. You like my my wool guy party hat? Or <laughs> is that what? That was <laughs> that's like Maddox. what we turned yeah. it into. <laughs> so you guys probably have. We have all these sayings. Maddox, <laughs> Maddox used to call everything a wool guy. If it was big, it was a wool guy. He'd say, oh, you like that wool guy party hat? So yeah, <laughs> that's, it's like you miss that cuteness with the boys. Yeah. Violet. Mm, I don't know if we're going to miss too much with our, <laughs> she's so crazy. Um, but this is their special edition. They made a hundred of these and they dropped on Tuesday. This video is coming out on Friday. So if there are any left and it sounds good to you, go check it out. But I'm not sure how many will be left by the time we get here. So this is their special blend that they have uh, just for the anniversary. And it's the emu oil. I was going to call that. Yeah, because of the color. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> and so this is their emu oil blend with their traditional blend, uh, kind of mixed with the two. And it's just for those limited editions. So Give a little scent profile here. I'm gonna, I have it down because it's not listed there. I have it down and I'll tell you what it is. Let's see how you do. Broke donkey. Caramel? Oh, and by the way, the name of this, the name of this is, oh, let me see. I got to check it here. I make sure I'm right. This is definitely not pumpkin spice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's the name of the oil. So what do you got? It smells like... It almost has that coffee shop scent to it. I don't know, because sometimes, like, caramel, caramel is caramel. very overpowering in a coffee shop. Yeah. I don't know if that's coffee or if it's not coffee. So this is maple, pecans, warm sugar, and pralines. Okay. I see that. Yeah. It, it's a, yeah. a foodie type scent. Yep. A sweet with some of that, would you say savoriness to it? That light caramel, that sugary. No, that's no? sweet. Okay, I, 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 I mess up with savory sometimes. <laughs> savory yeah. is like chicken. <laughs> so for me, it's it smells really nice. I think this would make like for a really good fall candle. Yeah. I just don't personally like the smell in beard. Yeah. The feel's fantastic, fantastic. But it's just not something that I'm like, oh yeah, I want to mm -hmm. smell like that today. But, <laughs> spoiler, there are some in here that I do. So the next up is he has two different lines. So he has the and line, which they've come up with. They created the different profiles where they select. That's going to be the other five we go over. And then he has his like cologne line, the inspired line, mm. where he mimics other colognes. The new one that we have today is number 25. And if you scroll down, they give you all the ones. This is Polo, and I want to make sure I get this right here, Polo Red Rush. So it's inspired by Polo Red Rush. Okay. And... Let's see what you think on this one. Sam is a fan of cologne scents. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This one is one we like to call like um like an aquatic cologne. Yeah, aquatic young man's cologne. Yeah. This is in that world of you go to the mall where you're in high school and you want to pick out a really nice cologne. I really like that. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I would say straight up aquatic cologne. Good scent strength. It's not too strong. It's not too long lasting, but it's not light either. And by aquatic, I, I 
do people know what we mean by yeah, a okay. uh, that's a whole okay. category. Fresh, it's light, it's not overpowering, it's not spicy. Exactly. That. Doesn't burn, it's just yeah. smooth young man's cologne. Yes. So 25. But old men can wear it too. True, true. <laughs> level their game up. Level the game up. So 25, very, very good. If you know that cologne, let us know down in the comments. All right, so now we are into their new and series. These okay. are all brand new ones created by them. The first one is Iowa Berry Patch Golden Stone Fruit. And of course, they are out of Iowa. Okay. I believe either in or right near Des Moines. Oh. That's very, very. And we did drive through Iowa once. The worst. <laughs> it's so boring. There was <laughs> nothing. Yeah, we were coming to like Minnesota, um, I think. Yep. It's just, it's too, it's too berry for me, I think. See, I like it. I love berry scents. For me, it's really fresh. It's refreshing. It's not too anything at all for me, but you, you have to like berries. Yeah. For me, it's like... Mm, on the verge of cough syrup, berry. Wow, no, not me. So for me, berries, as compared to like citrus and some other things, berries have like a dry, like if it was a cider, it would be a dry cider. Interesting. I don't know why, or that's just how it pops in my <laughs> head. So no, I like this one, which is not a shocker. I love these kind of scents. So that one's a, it's a plus for me, not so much for Sam. All right, the next one is milled mahogany and dark coke. Oh, I might need your help on this one. Coco Bolo? Sure. All right. What it, let's show the people here. What is that word right there? Help us out with the phonetics, as you guys always love to do with me. <laughs> so mahogany and then something else. Not sure what it is, but that doesn't matter because it's what it smells like. There's a reek of rich mahogany. Everybody had I feel like that's so corny. <laughs> Give us cheers. Okay. This, it's, it's not something that I would want you to wear, but it is a smell that I would like to smell at a hotel. Okay. Like if you walk into a hotel, you're yeah. like, ooh, this hotel smells really nice. It's yeah. It's like. It's fancy. Yeah. Sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There's some, I think it's the mahogany in it that I, is pointing me in the direction of not wanting you to wear it because it kind of. <laughs> yeah. Tickles my throat a little bit. I get a little bit more of the, which I don't mind. I get a little bit more of the feminine smell. Does that smell feminine to you? It's, it's Is unisex. there floral? It's unisex. Is there a little floralness to that? Yeah. The dark cocoa bolo? I don't know. Yeah, it does smell sophisticated. It does smell like a classy resort or hotel. It does, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a cologne at the same time. It is, but it isn't. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting one. It is. I can't, I want to hear you guys. Okay. I like it. I Don't get me wrong. I think it's it's a beautiful, complicated scent. It's just that mahogany just tickles my throat a little bit. Interesting. And that's why I wouldn't want you to wear it. And there's a few that do that with her. Yeah. Right? Birch does it too, but yep. we think she's allergic. <laughs> All right, next one is Maduro Cigars and, oh man, Balinese. Mocha Chino. Mocha Do you Chino? read these before we get on camera at no, all? No, like you when just, I just wing it. When I wear them, I do, but not before getting ready. <laughs> I just we hit this and we go. But I do prefer like I got the price and the profile, the stuff that's uh, yeah. not listed. But no, I don't. I, it's me. I, I don't want to look it up and sound all like I don't know too uh, smarter than I am. Uh -huh. Right. I, it's part of the charm. Oh, woo. What is this? Cigars and mochaccino. Mochaccino? Sounds okay. Like Pokemon. Is it supposed to be like a coffee cigar? It smells like a coffee. Like, first and foremost, it smells like coffee. Yeah, it hits Oh, mochaccino, though. That's coffee, right? Maybe that is mocha short for mochaccino? Yeah. No, I think it's just mocha. I, I think a mocha, mochaccino is a coffee. Mocha is a latte. Cappuccino is a different thing. But you could have a chocolate cappuccino. I think a mochaccino is some kind of coffee. Got to be. Well, it has to be, but. Yeah, yeah it's a, a coffee cigar scent. The coffee for me hits you first, and then the cigar starts to come through, and especially throughout the day as you wear it. I don't think that I like it. No, I don't either. I'm not a big fan, but I do know some of you really, really well, big time. All right, next one we have is Clover Honey mm, and Black Mission Fig. 
So honey and fig. Okay. Give that a shot here. I am a huge fan of all things honey. Oh. <laughs> Even this honey. Aww. Uh, mm. What you think? What you got? Describe. So, first hits you medicine. What? Then you smell deeper and you smell like. See, I love sweet this one. Nature. Yeah, that's what I get is the sweet. The fig is just so. Figs are just so like. Yeah, I guess that for me, it doesn't phase me at all. I just smell, for me, this is what an apple orchard smells like without the apples. Like when we go to, we went to Blake's Apple Orchard and mm -hmm. we were walking around this little festival part to go wait to get in line for the sunflower patch. Uh -huh. And this is what I smell. I smell nature and. I think that was, that's like the, the like candles that people are selling there. <laughs> could be, could be, but that's, <laughs> this is nature to me. I really, really like this one. I could wear this on a daily occasion. It is very strong. Hits you. Yeah, Just yeah. Just like that. Yep, yep. I so. agree. I agree. All right, and the last one that we have today is the, oh my gosh, I sh we should have prepared for this. All right, we have Taraco Orange and Hawaiian Ginger. Why do they got to make it so hard? I know, and it's all like different tenses. You can't just put the, the, the country or the place. What you got here? Hmm. Ginger makes an appearance. This time she's Hawaiian. I feel like you would like Ginger more if she was Hawaiian. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling the vibes on these ones are very artificial smelling to Yeah. Me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, this sort of smells like one of those, like, Glade plugins that you put in the wall, like the Hawaiian one or something like that. Wow, yeah, spot on. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is common. A lot of people love this, but again, just, we like ones that are more, instead of, like a candle of a of a citrus. We mm -hmm. like citrus peel. We like an actual like fresh citrus scent. Yeah, we like the fresh over the artificial. Okay. Yep. It's it's a nice scent. It's you know like Hawaiian Hawaiian y, mm. but it's just a little too and I think that's there's where a, that like cough syrup. And there's a medicine. candiness to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is a candiness like to a this sweet. one. Yep, and Sam is like super dialed into that stuff. When we smell <laughs> something that's like actually fresh, she's like, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is so good there. So I would assume your favorite is the cologne one. Yes. Let's go back, try that one again, just for one more, bring it back. Ah, yes. That's really good. like that one? That's good. So 25, she really, yes. really likes that one. For me, if I had to pick one on the other ones, it would probably be the Iowa Berry Patch. I really like the berries in there. Yeah, and, and again... There is some of that stuff that she was talking about there, but I just like berries a lot. For me, it's <laughs> it's a dry, refreshing scent, so I enjoy it. Uh, cool to see, though. Again, $9, so if yeah, people want to take wild. a chance on something, they're like, uh, I don't know here. It, that's a big investment. Because oftentimes, I think we split hairs on prices too much. People are like, oh, that's $17. I can get one for 15 And it's yeah. like... It's just... like driving down the street to get gas at a cheaper right. place. Right, which I used to do before Sam. I used to be... <laughs> I still am frugal. Or I would say I'm, I'm very smart with money. Yeah. And I used to be like that, where I would be like, oh, nope, we got to go to this place. I would drive way out of the way because we didn't have a gas station by our house, and I went to one that I liked and knew had lower prices. And then you kind of realize it like, huh, Okay, that probably doesn't matter in the it end. All evens out. When someone complains <laughs> about like, oh, this, and then they go buy a seven dollars Starbucks, it's like, come on now, come on now. <laughs> but the difference between nine dollars and fifteen or seventeen yeah, or twenty is big. a significant difference. So if you're looking to try something, it's not much of it as as much. It's still an investment, but not as much of an investment when you're looking at the other ones. And then the last thing we have here is to smell some. Beard wash and some beard conditioner, and this is in their new Oud scent on both of them. Now, yeah, so this one, let me get your thoughts here. Let me get your thoughts, because they're, they're definitely... There's bubbles. That's right. not... Well, just okay. smell it, then. It. Don't squeeze it. <laughs> so this is their Oud scent, and I want to hear your thoughts, and I'll give my thoughts. I like it. Yeah. Oh. It's manly. It's a good hotel. You like, oh, wow. Mm, that's good. I want that, and that needs to be an oil. Is that an oil? Not it that I have, no. Wow, that smells good. You really like that one? 
And it's not like the hotel scent where... It's like the hotel shampoo scent is what I was trying to say. Like fancy. There you go. Okay, yeah. so now when you walk in. And then yeah. here's the conditioner version. Different, oh, same. Stronger, same smell. Love that. It's a beautiful cologne scent. Yeah. Love it. So it does for me linger a little bit after I wear it. I've wore both of these, or I've used both of these twice now. And when I wear them, I can only follow it with an oud scent or an oud cologne kind of base scent, which luckily I have several, so that was not an issue. Uh, but that is one thing to know here. They're both fantastic. The beard wash is a really good wash. It's not the gentlest, but it's not stripping. I would say it's kind of in the middle of the road. And then the conditioner is on the kind of heavier side of conditioner. So if you're looking for that deep conditioner, this is a good one to go to there. And Sam likes the scent. Love. So, and I think, I know that in their Anne series, they do have an Oud. It's an Oud and something. Uh, what, let us know in the comments, what is the Oud scent that they have? Because I'm not remembering off the top of my head. It's probably been a year or so since we've tried that one. So, that's probably your favorite scent out of the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, I've brought that up. So, she loves the Oud. She loves the 25. Mm -hmm. The others just necessarily are not for her. Yeah. So, but... Let us know what you guys think. Do they sound good to you? Do you have some other preference? Because you guys know I'm not a spice person. And a lot of you go crazy. I, I know a guy even who has uh, a red beard. So he's got kind of fair skin. Mm -hmm. And he loves cinnamon. He loves clove. But when he wears it, he like, like turns oh bright red. Ouch. But he still does it anyway. <laughs> so it just lasts for like a half hour, then fades away on him. So I thought that was interesting. I'm like, man, that's I hate that's those scents. Then that was like, man, you are like, you're committed to those. So I thought that was cool. Let me check make sure my notes here that I got everything. Okay. Check, check, check. We got it all. Cool. And today, we get away for a little day day. Woo! Which we are excited. Yeah. I got get away. Because we, we can't really take Violet out anywhere right now. No. She's crazy. No. Like, and people don't, I don't think people understand. I don't think, so my mom recently watched her for a night. And I don't think she understood because she looks so cute in pictures, which mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. And then my mom watches her. When she gets back, she was like... She gave me a run for my money, and then we video called her with the boys like a couple days later. She said, it took me two days to recover. <laughs> and she was not joking. She said, it took me two days to recover from Violet. She said, the boys were easy peasy, but Violet, two days. She mm -hmm. said, next time Grandpa's coming to make it easier. So uh, we love her, but it is nice we to... We need constant breaks. Yeah, so we, we need a break because, whoo, that girl. So, all right. Hey, let us know your experiences with this company down in the comments. So many of you have tried it. So many of you love it. Uh, if it's not for you, right, obviously be honest, right? Sam gave that full description on the sense here. Let us know your thoughts. What are your favorites down below? Thank you for watching. Sam, see anything else? No. No? Hey, guys, it is uh, cooler weather time. So if you guys are looking ever for like long sleeve or hoodies or anything like that, hit up Sam. There's a link in the description to her Etsy shop. She can do custom orders on, on really anything you need. Yeah. Just message Anything. you there. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> well, thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Everybody out there, stay bearded and stay positive.